And now the real boss fight begins. I don't know why Ultros was working. Oh, it gave us a refill. Oh, nice. Oh, good times. Did it give us a full refill, or...? It did! Full-ass refill. I like it. Alright, Rowan, back to healing. Thundara should take care of everything we're doing here. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, she healed the boss! Rome, why? Why are you a betrayer? Oh, uh, this is gonna get sketchy if... Okay, that killed the boss. I knew two Thundaras would do the trick. Maybe I should've just brought two people who can learn Thundara, or maybe I should've just gone to Triangle Island and given Realm Thundara for this run and split my earrings up. But I already didn't do that, so it's fine. And now... We've made it to the floating continent. And who's here but a random encounter, which we'll get away from very quickly. Or we'll die. Actually, let's go ahead and... Oh, you've only got Cure. No, no. Don't, don't, don't. Not like this. That's right. Block it. Oh, there you go, baby girl. There you go, baby girl. All right. So Shadow's alive. He's going to come with us across the floating continent. It's going to be... It's going to be excellent. We're going to use a tent. It's going to be fine. And we can finally start giving Shadow some... We're going to give him the Genji Glove, because he's going to get a new piece of equipment on this island. Uh, do I want to do the Haste Hermy Sandals? Or just go with the Gigas Glove? You know, I think Gigas Glove would be better overall. Uh, Assassin's Dagger is not going to be good here because it does an auto kill and lots of things here are undead. He's going to have to do this for the time being. A kunai. Oh, and I guess we can switch her over to Mudwin. Get the magic plus one. Uh, we're going to put that. Maybe he could just take that. And we'll just have Edgar learn some more utility magic as we go. Yeah, we'll do that. You take the strength. Let's pop a tent, and we'll get to work here. Um, as far as utility magic goes, so we're going to start giving it to Edgar. We're going to have to go with... Okay, it's Sith, because we're going to need that float spell before the floating continent is over. If we don't have the float spell before the floating continent is over, life might be a little bit terrible. We'll cross that horrible, horrible bridge when we come to it. So these guys, these undead, terrible guys, are why we don't want to use the insta-death attacks here. She's going to be a healer. Let's see how she can do with Fyra, actually. This would have been a situation where we'd be in good shape if we had taken the gold hairpin rather than Mog. So Terra can cast more spells, but I'm assuming... I'm gonna work on the assumption... This is a treasure box. That's a sword for Cyan that he'll never get to use. I'm gonna work on the assumption that I've got enough high ethers to make, make it through. I don't know if we can chainsaw the Gigantos, but we're sure gonna try. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. That dude's got an attack called the Throat Jab, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's really, really painful. It's like 900 damage or something silly. Alright, so you're good with this now, right? Attack 255, you better be good with that. And the Thief's Knife, which means he might steal from enemies. We might end up with that third Genji Glove anyway. Does everything here like fire, I wonder? We'll keep Terra as the healer. We'll keep Edgar as the driller. Edgar's Mr. Driller. He's a... 
He's a game about colorful blocks, etc. Ooh, who's that gonna hit? Oh, Edgar is level 5. Oh, missed! I guess level 5 death is single target in this game, not multiple target. Okay, so there's Asuna for Edgar, which means he's done with Seraph, which means we're gonna give him Kate Sith and hope he learns float in time. Somebody in the comments is gonna leave me a message saying that it's supposed to be pronounced Ketchi, and I understand that that is the correct pronunciation in the original, like, Gaelic script. But I think Ketchi sounds stupid, so I'm going to continue to call him uh, Kate Sith. And I don't think we're gonna be able to do anything but just wear this guy down. Yeah, that beatdown's gonna come as a counterattack no matter what we do. If anybody had, oh, we don't have access to death in this party, but if we did... Oh, sometimes he doesn't use it as a counterattack, sometimes he just uses it because why not? Yeah, saw that coming. Are right, we gonna turn him to stone? Yes, we are. Beautiful. I mean, he gets his counterattack off anyway, but... We did, in fact, turn him to stone. Alright, Edgar, get him back up on his feet, please. Alright, Terra's MPs are still holding for a minute. I didn't... I've, I've run a lot of circles on the floating continent uh, over the years. Because a lot of times, in a lot of playthroughs, I would get to this point in the game and... Let's just go ahead and try to heal that beat down with Realm here before we do anything else. A lot of times I'd get to this point in the game and be like, oh, I'm going to teach everybody every magic spell. That's what I want to do with my life now. And the best place to do that is on the Floating Continent. You get a lot of ability points on the Floating Continent. Do you actually have Break? You do not. You don't have anything useful here. Let's just see if you can Stone Blade him again. Oh, Edgar can't survive. I don't know why I did that. Edgar can't survive the counterattack. Oh, he's in the back row. He can. Okay, good. You better attack, actually. Okay, cool. So if you're there in the back row, they'll survive just barely, it looks like. So Shadow gained a couple points of strength. His damage ought to go up slightly. Alright, now one of these goes to the switch I need to hit. This one does. And the other one goes... No, no, it didn't, actually. That goes nowhere. Oh, it's a shortcut back. I, this place is laid out really weird, but it's kind of straightforward. Like, it zips you and teleports you all over the place using these, I guess, underground tunnels? Question mark? It's very important to keep Shadow at max hit points because those that beatdown will not avail him. Ooh, I thought that Fyra would actually take those guys all the way out, and that's not what happened. But hey, now we got drill targets to worry about. There was a steal. What'd you get? Nothing. Couldn't steal. There's the stone blade. That procs quite a bit, actually. Oh, you know what happened is that we depleted his HP. His hit points ran out. And if you kill a monster with a weapon that procs a magic spell, the spell always procs. 
pretty sure that's how it works. This switch lowers that landmass, so we can now walk across it. And this switch lowers this landmass, so we can walk across it. And now we can backtrack and go down that lower path. Alright, Terra, what's good here? Uh, skip your turn for now. You know what's Flash? Let's Shockwave Flash these guys. He might be able to just uh, wear them out with this. Not quite. Huh. Nobody's confused. That's twice they've tried to hit Edgar with their level attacks. And he's just not the right level. Okay, so Realm is learning some attack magic now. She's got Thundara to work with. These behemoths, though, they're everywhere. Go ahead and drill up there. You make sure Shadow is... Ooh, that Life Shaver's gonna hit because he's taking damage. Yep. I'm not sure that I enjoy this situation. I'm gonna throw Akira out with... with the king here. Thank you very much. Oh my god, again with this. Okay, so... I don't think this Thundara is going to do anything, but... We need to kill these guys. We have to get them dead. Or else we're just going to keep life shavering. Okay, that's probably good enough. Nope, not quite. Here comes the drill. Oh, that's right! Shadow cannot use Interceptor to counterattack on the floating continent, because Interceptor is... is back home, convalescing. Okay, good. Alright, we pulled this battle back from the brink of defeat. Can I beat down him? No, apparently not. Good blocking, Shadow. Edgar's fine in the back row. He's not going to take a lot of hits. But yeah, I mean... What just... Oh, did I attack him with Realm? That could have gone better. I'm not going to lie. That's the problem with the healing staff in Final Fantasy games. You always forget who's got the healing staff. And then you end up healing your, your, uh, your enemies because you're a dumb face with a dumb brain that thinks dumb thoughts about dumb people in dumb video games all the dumb time. Or maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just a problem that I have, personally. Yeah, Flash and Fyra ought to take care of this gravy train right here. Actually, we ran Edgar out of hit points faster than we did Terra because of all the curing we had to do. That went well. One fight we're looking for here is called a dragon. They have Genji gloves to steal. Uh, how are you doing on Zona Seeker? Oh, you're done. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize she was done. Okay, so you. Is there any other magic I want her to have right now? She was learning that because she didn't have access to. Magic plus one. Who's magic plus one again? Oh, it's Modwin. Modwin is magic plus one. And that's the only magic plus one I have? And I've got a magic plus two? Fair enough. Okay, so go ahead and go back to... Phantom. And you, my dear, take the magic plus two of Zona Seeker and go with God. How are you doing? Oh, you don't need, you're not worried about spells? I don't think we're going to learn Float in time, kids. I think we're not going to have Float for when we need it. 
that's the path forward. Isn't there a treasure over here, though? I do think there's a treasure over here that I want to get before moving on forward. I guess you could bring, bring Strago here and learn these lores if you wanted to. I'd rather bring Realm and have her milk the magic APs and learn some attack spells, though. Yeah, there is a thing here. A beret. Now, what does that do for her stats? I know it increases the probability of her sketching, but lowers her stats. So, not uh, gonna be a good time. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, more of these undead fools. Oh, so that life shaver's not going to do anything because he hasn't taken damage yet. The way that works is it takes the uh, the monster's maximum hit points, subtracts its current hit points, and the remainder is how much damage life shaver does. So the more you've damaged it, the more damage that life shaver does to you. And I'm pretty sure it counts as Earth Elemental, so if you have Gaia gear, you'll actually absorb it instead of... Or you'll actually reverse it, like he'll take damage from you if he uses Life Shaver. We're gonna have to pop a tent here. And next up, we've got a pretty grody boss. Uh, and we can't float, because Edgard has not learned float yet. So we'll just hope... To goodness gracious that this grody boss does not spam its quake spell, which he has, is fully within his right and his ability to do so. We just have to hope. And we did not see any dragons to steal from. It's fine if you don't actually steal it here, because you can always go to the Velt later and find dragons. To steal from there. But if we don't encounter any dragons... That's never going to happen. Uh, just go ahead and get Terra back up, I guess. Maybe she'll get some... Now all these level spells are hitting. Of course. Of course. We're going to have to pop a ribbon on Realm for half a second. Board bangle to ribbon. Ribbon to... They always put your old relic back at the bottom of the list. Oh, it's not there. Here it is. There must have been an empty spot in the equipment list closer to the top this time. But yeah, I would sit here on the floating continent, and I've done this several times playing the game, to make sure all of my characters learned every single spell. And my characters were like level 40 by the time I was done. It takes a minute. And in case you want to leave, there's the airship down there. You can just jump to it. But I'd rather go fight this incredibly grody boss. I really, really wish I had float. Didn't happen, was not in the cards. That's, that's a quite alright. So one thing we can do, because this boss has a special property where, uh, first of all, it gets more powerful, it gets access to more powerful spells the more you've damaged it. So if you don't damage it at all, it stays at its like easiest level of power, basically. And if you're going to kill it that way, the way to do it is to drain its magic points. And we can do that because we have the Rasp spell on two characters with pretty powerful magic stats. However, that's still less than ideal because it's got like 50,000 magic points or something, so we're just going to try to power on through. How about Gaia gear? Can we do Gaia gear across the board, maybe? You're the only person who can wear it. Alright, and let's get to work. Shoutouts to BT Sierra who sponsored this video, and to everybody who helps make my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.